What's going on, everybody? Uh, TV Guy 27 checking in. It's June 15th. Um, gearing up for the uh, move to Tokyo um, to attend Temple University of Japan for the next four years. Um, excited. I'm still waiting on my uh, student visa to be processed. Should be done pretty soon. Um, purchasing tickets this week or possibly next week. Haven't decided yet. Just waiting on to see what's going on. Um, finish up spring semester. Uh, gonna take some summer semester classes um, to offset some things and help with my prereqs for when I transfer completely to uh, Temple. And um, all the while, just chilling, hanging out, relaxing. Hang with some friends and family. Um, so I, I know I'll be gone for a while. Won't be a lot of holidays. I'll be flying back. Um, just makes it too difficult to try to deal with that type of thing. So I'm just kind of focusing on that. Um, watching J uh, Vlog videos. Um, shout out to Rhyming Guy Jim, GS350 JPN, um, I Tokyo Rob. Me and him uh, friends on uh, Facebook, and uh, we chatted up with a couple. Um, Chibi Chan. Uh, stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of friends I made that uh, are going to be going there for the fall semester. Um, so uh, I'm really excited to get to know these guys as well as meet, meeting some of the J-Vlogging community. Um, shedding the light some things. For some reason, because um, with the donation things and the, you know, help Japan, help Joplin, Missouri, help Alabama type thing was coming up. Um, for some reason, I've been getting some some negative emails, some negative comments, some stuff like that. Now, I take them off. I take with a grain of salt. I'm in, like I said, I so used to it with all the time in the military, and at the same time, uh, growing up here in Portland, Oregon, I'm just so used to hearing stereotypical comments um, as far as family, as far as me going to Japan, as far as you know, interracial relationship type things. You know, it's Everybody it can be it's some of them from friends, some of them from people that I don't even know in the YouTube universe. Emails just pop up or comments pop up that I remove because it's just pointless rhetoric that just pops up with some things. You know, I mean, saying you know things like you people or you people shouldn't go to Japan or you know I know what you're going to Japan for. You don't. You really don't know what you're going to Japan for. You know. Going for education, I'm going to learn Japanese, you know, it's broadening your horizons, you know, it's, I'm too old to be getting into this, I'm better than you, or you're better than me, or you're, you're worthless type of crap, you know, I've dealt with it enough, so, you know, if you want to keep uh, the comments and the hating, I mean, knock yourself out, but you're not going to see it on my page, um, emails aren't going to be read off, I'm not going to say your, your, your name or your, your user tag, for your benefit, so you know you keep com coming with them and the dislikes and the clicking the dislike or the like button or whatever you want to do, knock yourself out. Um, but my motivation and my drive to see Japan, to live in Japan, won't change. I'm not gonna back down. Not gonna get scared off or anything like that. So knock yourself out. So now that we're done with that. Um, Prepping for Japan is probably one of the hardest things, especially for trying to attend to Temple University. It's like you got the money thing that's got to come up. You got to have a certificate of eligibility that's got to be done. You got to show proof of a certain amount of money. Now, me personally, if I didn't have the GI Bill and I didn't get financial aid, I'd be in a world of hurt right now. But hopefully that helps cover some stuff as well as family support. But it's been a stressful nightmare that I hope that when I get there and it's done and over with I will look at it and laugh about it but just coming up with those documents coming up with transcripts trying to get stuff sent to Japan you know how much it costs to send things to Japan especially to try to get there as fast as possible you know it's a lot of stuff that just pops up you know and then all with the regular school and family and stuff um, it's still going to be well worth it so I'm still working at it and I'm still trying to do the right thing keep myself out of trouble. Um, it's just school work home, school work home, occasionally go out for a beer with a, with buddies or meet up with buddies and we go have something to eat or something. But still that main focus point is that I'm gonna be leaving in nine weeks now? Nine weeks. So 
there's a lot of focus on that so if you don't see a video again until August when I'm on a plane you know 15,000 feet in the air recording people that I've met that are heading to Japan or when I actually touch down and I have a jet lag and I'm checking into the dorms or something then uh, you know you probably won't see one until then because I'll be really busy for the next month or two so um, stuff like that that's all about it um, I did have questions about Japan but you know watching some of the J Vloggers videos I'm pretty sure they get 50 million videos you know replies or questions about the same thing they hear over and over and over again so I'm gonna refrain from talking to J Vloggers about Japan until I physically get to Japan then I can ask questions because I'm there when I'm not there and you're 10,000 miles away you know it's kinda hard for them to try to say hey I'm gonna talk to you and I'm gonna give you information on what you need to do and you need to go here and you need to go see Tokyo Tower or you need to go to Akihabara or you need to go to you know Rapungi and stuff like that I don't know until I get there so I'll refrain from trying to ask a million questions about that until I get there um, you know still practicing my uh, language um, still gonna be really bad when I get there but I'm um, hoping to take Japanese when I get to uh, temple and then use it in the uh, in the pub in public and stuff like that and try to get away to jitters of trying to speak uh, Japanese with a native Japanese speaker but we'll see how it goes so um, like I said stuff coming up 4th of July usual stuff um, like I said summer semester in college it's only eight weeks so it'll end about the 11th then I have a week of getting ready to go to uh, Japan which is packing saying my formal goodbyes um, finishing my last week of work um, stuff like that and just staying out of trouble um, so I'm just working at it um, but if you watch the video and you're in Japan email me uh, subscribe um, some comments you know suggestions anything helps um, in that direction as far as like uh, getting ready to go because um, you like said I'm a noob for this and uh, I'm gonna be a noob probably for a while while I'm there so uh, we'll see but we have a pretty good cast of characters that are gonna be coming over to uh, Japan for the first uh, installment of uh, fall semester at Temple University and we got a couple coming for spring semester so Tokyo be ready um, Japan be ready cuz uh, it's gonna be a blast you know I um, there's some cool people on there like I said I Tokyo Rob um, he'll be uh, making a second around go around in Japan uh, Chibi Chan or uh, Chu Monster um, she's got a page on here but she hasn't done a video which we've been pushing her to do videos but she will uh, be there and she's very interesting so we'll see how it goes um, it's a bunch of other people um, that are gonna be there and we're gonna have a blast and uh, I'm excited to meet them and uh, at the same time to meet the J vlogging community so um yeah I better uh, get back cause I gotta get ready for work I really gotta clean up this place it's uh you know I just saw a tumbleweed go by sorry um yeah um but subscribe rate I'll try to get some more videos before I take off and if not I will see you in Japan Jamatane. <laughs>